What's up everybody, I'm Deke James, this is Zanzibar. I can send an expedition only to the Indian Ocean. Alright, so 40% chance that we get a piece of territory. 15% we get like 20 ducats, 15% we get like, a, I think that's a prestige point if you get maps. And then 30% chance of nothing. All right. Who can I not? Can I not share with like the Mamluks? Because the Mamluks don't have commercialization, and they can't actually get it because they don't have commerce rate right of commerce seven plus. Which is kind of weird. But they do make 41 ducats, so that would be 4 ducats. That would be crazy. They're too far away to interact with, actually. But I think they would accept if I was allied to them. They're at their uh, alliance slots, though. Alright, back to Butua. For 0.26 ducats. It's not much, but it's something. Alright, I sent five ships to the Red Sea. So there's ten ships over here now. And I sent another five ships over here. That's twenty ships. I'm gonna put um, 15 15 in the Gujarata node and then 5 in the Konkan node. For some reason the ships in the Konkan node don't leave the Gulf of Gujarat sea zone. Which is kind of weird. But also nice at the same time. You'd think they would come down here, but then they just sit there, so. All right, we'll make about 12 ducats. Since the Metropolitans don't have control of the country, I don't get the 10%, so I went ahead and did state-sponsored commerce. So I lose, well, like a ducat 50 from that. And then I'm paying three more ducats for the navies. These ships are exploring. Our expedition was lost. Yeah, I expect to see a lot of that. Hey, my truce with Lundu has ended. Hey, my force limit's still 12. I think these guys are just going to take forever to show up, so... Put three ships back into the Arabian nodes. I'll see, um... See if they get attritioned again. Might have just been a weird thing. This looks like a lot of nice provinces up here. Alright, and these provinces are overseas, so I think I should be able to grab those provinces. Vijaya Nagara is conquering Bamani, that's not good. I 
Alright, I'll send those guys to the coast. Don't imagine one of these countries would accept vassalization. Nah. I think these are mostly tribal provinces still. No, okay. This this province doesn't have any tribes. Are these provinces tribal? A little bit. 45%. Okay, that's so far away, I don't care. Hey, Ming took back control of their country. Yeah, in order to do these expeditions, I would need a better better mil tech. And these guys have mil tech 27, which is better than mine. Mil tech 28, 24, 27. That's good for defending against the European powers. These guys are in a coalition, oh, against Katanga. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're kind of screwed over here. That's good for me, that uh, everybody has better tech. Because I'll get less provinces, but then, since I'm over here, it, might, it should be easier for me to conquer territory then. Theoretically. Yeah, and those colonies are going to go very slow. So where is commercialization, actually? Since I've unlocked all of Europe. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty much everywhere in Europe. It's not spreading to North Africa. It's not spreading to the Ottomans, either. So it's kind of like a... it's acting like a curtain, almost. It's good for me. Alright, my ruler died, which kind of sucks because he was a 4-4-5, and we now get a 3-3-2, who's aged 40. My legitimacy tanks down to 57, so that's going to lead to an increase in autonomy. Do a new alignment. Now the question is, do I align with the bureaucrats? State reach is 16.6%. The problem is I need influence with the bureaucrats in order to do some reforms, but the bureaucrats aren't going to take over. So I run the risk of leaving the chiefs in control of the country if I align with the bureaucrats. But then I really can't do reforms without them having influence. The lowest influence I need is 20. They have 4 right now. So it looks like they rest around 4. The Chiefs have a little bit more than the Metropolitans. They're also gaining from influential Chiefs. I think what I should be able to do is align with bureaucrats, get bureaucratic advisors, and then if I need to, I can support the Metropolitans give them that influence to give them control while also getting some influence from the bureaucrats. So that's what I'm going to go with. Is that going to work out how I think it is? I don't know. All right, that guy's material cost, so that's good. I could always switch to Metropolitan Advisors if I need to. This guy's National Unrest. And, ooh, Discipline guy. Okay. Grade them to level 2.
All right, so the Indian Ocean is explored now. Can't explore anything else. Can't explore over here, unfortunately. But I do know all of these provinces exist, and I know about the South African node. So I'm going to move a merchant from Lake Chad down to South Africa. And then I can trade with Maputo. Alright, all of these claim strengths suck. That's bad. Go with the pious son. 421. Apparently they just made a change where claim strength, I think, goes up one per year now. Which is nice. Because claim strength just being average, 54.82. When that takes when that guy takes over, my legitimacy is gonna be like in the 40s. That's kind of bad. It's really bad, actually. Especially since legitimacy is now tied to autonomy. I'm getting a little screwed over there. I'm going to send these guys just to the um, South African node. It's not really going to do much, but they're nearby, and um, I'll just get that going. I don't really want to trade power there, but I'll send them there. Eventually, other people will show up down there, so. If I need to, I can always add that to a trade company to grab colonialism and then dump it. Get that out of the trade company. So I think if, if the tribes are sufficiently weakened, then I'll probably just go colonialism as the next idea, and then maybe skip bureaucracy. Maybe go at 34, do Grand Navy, so I can start building some heavies, because by that point, there should be European powers over here. Alright, I'm going to attack these guys. Call in Butua. Really just doing it for some loots. I have no general. No siege guy. Okay. Automatically discover adjacent when a colony is built. That's just not... It's not great. Marina has 165 ducats of debt. So I can always pay off that debt. That's just a lot of debt, though. Yeah, make a duck at 65 from the Red Sea. Where I have 10 ships. Close to 5 ducats from Gujarata. 6 ducats from Zanj. 0.62 from Arabia. Make one dugout from the South African node, so... I'll leave one ship there and I'll move these guys somewhere else. Move them to the uh, Gujarata node, because I should be able to make more money there. Alright, I don't want Butua to give up territory. So I'll grab this province and move down here and 
help out their provinces. Let me improve relations with that country. Took a while, but this province is now actually trading in this node. It's a lot harder to get a province without a natural location to start trading. Because it, it doesn't really sell anything. If there's no burgers in the province, then not a lot of commerce happens. So I went ahead and I moved 2,000 people into this province up here. So this province now has 2,300 residents, 114 burgers, not a whole lot of burgers in this province. So hopefully they start moving here. I also threw uh, 10 ducats into the commerce in this province. So hopefully that province can start trading. All right, a couple hundred ducats. Oh, I'm fighting these guys. They allied them? Yeah. If I sit on their provinces, will they peace out? Oof, my corruption is increasing by 1.39. Alright, just wait piece of those guys out. Who's the best general? Two, three, or one, five shock. Yeah, I'll keep that two, three of them. What is this? Combat with reduction. Dice roll for attacker negative one. I'll fight down here. They have a 5 3. They also have no cannon, though. I've got cannon. They're no match for my cannon. So the chiefs have control of the country and my legitimacy tanked, so I imagine my autonomy is going to increase by a lot now because of those two things. I can go ahead and give that... Um, Influence to the ch not chiefs. Oh, next year. Okay. Yeah, so the bureaucrats should take over the country once I give that back to the bureaucrats next year. That'll help out with the autonomy reduction, which increased from 83 to 86. Bureaucrat influence is 12. I don't think I would be able to get the... Oh, we got maps and we lose prestige for getting maps. That might be yearly, though. That might be a change that they made. 
Because it used to be every two years unless you had colonialism. So I'm going to change it to every year. Colonialism would be every year, and it would up your chance from 40% to 80%. Of course, I'm not sure what that really matters, because it also takes into account the mill tech of the country as well, so... I guess it's 40 to 80% chance of getting an uncolonized province? Wait, no, it's 40, it's 40 to 80% chance of even being able to attempt to take a province from a country. And then you still have to do a bunch of rolls based off of Miltex. It's a surprise you really get any provinces through that system. Because there's a lot of checks that you have to go through. Hey, I get an extra merchant. Alright, so... This province is now a dominant center of production. I think that's, um, this one's important center of production. I think those fall off once the provinces are actually colonized. Oh, this province flows into the Zanj node. What flows into the Zanj? South Africa, Monomotapa, Red Sea, and Konkan. Interesting. Okay. I'll send my merchant to the Tamil Cam. I think because I discovered these sea zones, now the ships that are protecting trade in the Konkan are actually moving around. I liked it better when they just stayed stationary. Because I actually own a province in the Red Sea node, I want to have a lot of ships there, actually. So I'll keep 10 there. I was going to move some ships to the Tamilcam node, but I think I'll just hold that off. There's only three countries in this node, and Vijayanagar has the most at 66 trade powers, so like five ships over here should be... Should be a decent amount of trade power. 17 would be 3, so that's what, 5 per ship? Merchant present, maximize profit, multiplied by 1.8 due to trade power modifier in this node. So 3 light ships is 11.4. Yeah, so 5 would be about 15, and then all of those other benefits. That would be like three ducats, just from five ships. I'll go ahead and build those five ships then. One, two, three, four. Any quick ones? No. That one's 400. So I'll build over there. These guys are running away. What did I do this for? Manyika. Oh, okay. Yeah, because this province has burgers, it's actually trading. It's negative, of course, but um, it's still trading. Negative 99. 42 ducats from industrial property. Yeah, that's definitely... It's definitely bugged. That's the problem with colonizing. Until you actually get the province, people... The births are negative, and there's people emigrating from the province. 
Like, this province has already lost 120 burgers. And it's losing 20 per year. Tell, uh, you two to grab the Wargol province. Lundu has 300 ducats, so I'll probably take another province from them and sell it back to them for some cash. I guess I can just go... well, no, I'll grab the capital. Yeah, U2 is gonna go up there. So I'll grab the capital, they grab the Wargol province. B2 has embraced commercialization. Influential Chiefs has expired. Bureaucratic expansion has expired as well. The tribes are at 50%. I don't want the tribes to take over again. I give control to bureaucrats. You would think giving them 20 would put them in power, but since they're sitting at 17% power... That would cap probably around 17, 20, maybe even 15. That also adds 5 bureaucracy corruption, so I don't want to just do this as a test. I think I'll wait for them to get a little bit higher, so I'll go ahead and give... I'll give that to the Metropolitans to let them take over. Uh, also, in order to get my legitimacy back, I'm going to go ahead and leverage the clergy for Compel dynastic endorsement. It's pretty expensive, 15 for 0.2 yearly legitimacy. But I'll go ahead and donate to them and do a show of devotion to get that back. That'll help out a little bit with legitimacy gain. I'm going to take one guy off of here and put him on this siege just in case Pitua leaves for some reason. To defend their provinces over there. We make 13 ducats. We spend nine, ten ducats on fleets. It's crazy. 18 ducats from trade. We pay ten, more than 10 times for our fleet than our army. I also have those Pate Separatists so that are actually going to rise up, 95%. I want to start, I can call, uh, not colonize, I can start annexing Marina, but I'm going to wait until I start, I do a couple of these reforms because oh, I could do one reform right now. I'm going to wait till I can start until I start doing these autonomy reforms because that's going to add it's a lot of high dev provinces that are inland so it's going to add, add a lot of autonomy since I can hardly get the autonomy down on these coastal provinces I'm going to wait till they build more pathing and harbages hey harbage rank 2 speaking of harbages harbage rank 2 is finally built in this province nice harbage rank run there harbage rank 1 down there this province is building a harborage 
So the harbingers are being built in Madagascar. That's four harbingers right there. I guess this province also has a harbinger, but I wouldn't really build that one up myself. Kind of just exists. Oh, this one also has a harbinger too. Not a whole lot of building going on, actually. I don't think there's any buildings being built in my country right now. What is this reform? Administration cost, provincial corruption reduction, state corruption reduction. For negative 10 relations between the elites, negative 20 relations between the bureaucrats. Not loyalty. There's no loyalty involved in this. It does cost 150. Monarch power. Provincial corruption and state reduction. Yeah, I can't do a reform right now, so... Yeah, I'll go ahead and just do that, sure. Get some reforms going. It's not the reform that I want to do, but it's a, it is a reform. So our, our first reform... The nobility are at 80% loyalty, so I'm not going to give them anything else right now. I think I'll grab this province. This is a three development province. That would give a five year truce. If I take this province, it's a six-year truce. 13 aggressive expansion. Really not much aggressive expansion at all. They can get rid of that um, core. War reps would add another year, so it would be a seven-year truce. Adding money would make this a long truce, I think. Yeah, every one of these, every five ducats is another month. I can make more than 60 ducats by selling back these provinces, so... That plus war reps is what I'll do. After I grab the war goal, they should peace out them. And I'm building the fifth light ship here, so I'll wait for that to get built before I send those to, to uh, Tamilcam. And we could send an expedition to East Africa. Okay, it's kind of weird that I could send it to the Indian Ocean before East Africa. So I'll, I'll go to East Africa, because I assume that's finishing off these and these two provinces. So yeah, I'll just keep sending to East Africa. Hopefully that gives me a better chance as well. It's probably still 40% even though I border those provinces. Alright, they would accept this. That is a 7 year truce. Yeah, that's fine because money would be split with uh, Butua anyway. Some of these guys over to deal with Pate. Who can I rival? Banu Rossi. Who's Banu Rossi a rival to? They're allied with Ethiopia. Rival to Yemen and Awa. Hmm. Let me go ahead and recall that guy. Alright, five ships built over here. Let's go protect trade in the Tamilcam node. Any of these ships getting attritioned? Nope, 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 nope. 
And nope. Okay, perfect. I don't know why those ships were attrition before. Kind of weird. Don't really want to finish off exploration, but I do want this to get some claims, so... Might as well finish this off, I guess. Plus it gives a little bit of trade range. I think I'm so far behind on dip tech, I'll get the next dip tech. Yeah, because Marina is about to be mad at me. So I will royally marry them if I have to, I'll pay off their debt. 200 ducats. Massive debt right there. Just sending a merchant to the Tamil Cam node gives me 3% of the power. Also, I have this uh, four maneuver guy that's not currently doing anything, so I'll go ahead and have him. I'll throw him in the Red Sea. Should give a little bit of trade power in that node. Alright, those five ships boost this from 3% to 21%, and uh, from 0.3 ducats to 2.3 ducats? Okay. Alright, I think I'm going to end this part here, and I'll probably go for a little bit and uh, check back in. So... Colonizing a couple provinces, building trade ships, making money from trade. Once I get to this, then I will be able to do claims on some provinces, like a Kathiri. Although these guys are a vassal of Yemen, who's allied with War Sengali. I'll see. I'll figure out uh, countries to attack and uh, go from there. So, thanks for watching. Goodbye.